Lastly, down here is our little gear. If you remember in the classic view, we had these items, information, iPad app, and printing. These items now reside in this little gear. So if we click on that, you can see here is our little submission information. If I open that up, it's going to give us a really quick look at our submission details. Submission ID, very easy to find. A student can find it anytime. If they're having an issue with their paper and need to contact us, it's important that they take note of this submission ID and include that in their email to us. But you can also see it has good stuff like when it was turned in, file size, word count, page count, all that good stuff. If they want to be able to print this up, they can close this out, click back on the gear, and choose the download button. They can then download the digital receipt, which will include all of that information, and then they can print it. They can also download their originally submitted file. So if it was just a Word doc without any of the comments or anything, you or your student can download that originally submitted file and take a look at it. And then the best one, the one I like most, is our current view. And what this does, if I click on that, is it prepares a download. You can see this is a three-page document that we're looking at here, but it's now creating a comprehensive document that includes everything that we're looking at and everything that we've added and everything that we're using. So here is that document down here on the left, and if I open that up, you can see it's an 11-page document. Here is my paper by my student, my submission information. Here is my paper with every comment all of my matching. We go scroll down more. Here is my score, my similarity score. Also, where I was matching, student papers to publications to internet sources, those largest matches and where they came from, any exclusions that may be on or off. Here's my score along with every comment that I added, page by page, as well as whether it was added as criterion to my rubric every ETS rater, strike throughs, every comment. And it also includes the rubric and how I scored in that rubric and why, to give you those students a better understanding of why they received the score that they did. And it walks them through and gives them access to anything. So this is a great document that they can print up and bring to a writing lab or bring to a tutor or possibly to office hours. It's a really, really great document that includes everything they need to know about how they did in that paper and why.